Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Uh, Mr. White, Chairman White, I, have, ahead, I have about 10 people in the audience, as well as a camera, and a computer has been set up for some reason. Okay. You're missing out on having your picture okay, taken. Well, okay, I want to call the uh, special telephonic meeting, Board of Supervisors meeting to order. What time do you have there, Beth? For the record? My computer says 302, sir. Okay. It's uh, 402 over, over here. Uh, of course, we're on the mountain. They like st uh, standard time. <clears throat> Item 1. Beth, could you read it, please? Yes, sir. Item 1 is discussion and possible approval to relocate to regular April 1st, 2014 Board of Supervisors meeting to the Ganado Road Yard, Highway 264, mile marker 466.8 in Ganado, Arizona at 8.30 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, 9.30 Mountain Daylight Standard Time. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I do have, I do have several comments and a request for our county attorney. Yeah, comments first, uh, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I appreciate the opportunity to speak to the issue of relocation of the April 1st uh, Board of Supervisors meeting to Ganado. I have several critical important issues to review associated with this decision. I'll be reading them. Uh, it's just over a page, so no need to panic that I'll be here for half an hour or more. Uh, but uh, first, I submit for consideration that the inappropriate sequence of the decision or action to relocate a previously posted meeting is important to our leadership image. A, there was leadership awareness of the public rally on April 1st to protest the removal of the call to the public prior to any discussion of relocation of the meeting. This fact should have merit in our consideration to relocate the meeting. Secondly, the posting of or notice that the April 1st uh, BOS meeting was to be relocated to Ganado was requested on March 18th and in the White Mountain Independent newspaper on March 21st that posting was done before any discussion of a special meeting to vote on the issue of venue change by the entire board was presented. This too should be in consideration here today. These above actions and the potential sub subsequent moving of the meeting provide, in my opinion, an appearance that could justifiably be perceived as inconsiderate of the electorate. My desire is that this board continues on a path of being considerate of the electorate and move towards inclusiveness as opposed to potential divisiveness. Next, I have received several contacts from citizens in the county and state legislators that put our county in less than flattering light for public opinion. This mass communication may create an atmosphere of legislative action soon with our county in less than a complimentary position. The legislators that I have heard from just want to know what is going on that have so many citizens concerned about their rights. I have, and I believe each of you have, been working to unite the different jurisdictions and communities of this county, not divide them. An action to relocate this April 1st meeting, considering all the recent history, will not, in my opinion, do anything to help us unite us. Third, there are, there are a significant number of concerns being raised about the constitutional rights of our citizens being erased by one action of moving the meetings to the Navajo Nation. This is not a perspective I have previously given much thought to, but it appears very pertinent now that I have been pres presented with it. A venue on the Navajo Nation, as I presently understand it, requires that a citizen, having, a citizen having the right to attend any public board meeting give up their normal understood constitutional rights and fall under Navajo Nation law as soon as they enter Navajo Nation land. There are many case law decisions that address this issue and give me considerable pause. The constitu constitutional rights of our citizens are basic to the purpose of our existence as a government entity. We are here to protect the constitutional rights of our citizens, not deny them by board action. The citizens of this country should not have to be required to give up any rights to attend a public meeting of their county government. County government is subdivision of our sovereign state government, and the jurisdiction of this board is state regulated, not Navajo Nation regulated. 
I call for a legal opinion on this matter from our county attorney's office. I do not believe the county attorney can in any way assure the citizens of Southern Apache County that all of their constitutional rights will be fully protected and be defensible under the United States Constitution law when they are on the Navajo Nation land. In fact, many cases have been decided quite the opposite. Will our county attorney please provide us with a written opinion on this issue as soon as possible? To that issue, I ask at the April 1st meeting or any other future meeting not be held on the Navajo Nation land until we have written opinion on this issue as it also has the appearance of infringing on the open meeting law along with the citizenship rights. To also be considered in the opinion by our attorney is that if a meeting cannot be attended by the public due to a constraint on the public's rights, that meeting may not meet the criteria to be open to the public as state open meeting law requires. Lastly, I find it of universal interest that the meetings on the Navajo Nation are held very where planned so that citizens are able to attend there. They are always, in my experience, open to public input. I have found them to be contentious and energetic, as they are here, with opposing points expanded on significantly, often without limitations up there. There are occasionally personal attacks and accusations up there. The meetings are not canceled, moved, or otherwise impeded due to contentious public movement, and I ask that we do not relocate our meeting for such activity down here or stop the call to the public, which will be on the agenda for next discussion. With that, I will be opposing any mo movement to relocation of the April 1st meeting. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, thank you there, Mr. Barry. However, you know, I believe that uh, maybe a couple months ago, I did state that I wanted to have some meetings up north. You mentioned that, you know, we're, you know, we're not complying with the, uh, people's rights down south. I question how about the people's rights up north. We, the other thing is, in the years past, you know, we had meetings up north uh, before. This is not the first time it's going to happen. And we never had these kind of problems before. People were willing to uh, travel from uh, St. John's to Ganado. And I think you guys need to realize that Mr. Shirley and I have been doing this for the past 17, 18 years, you know, and, uh, you know, we also want to have the people experience, you know, going to board meetings up north. And uh, so, um, you know, that's, big. and I'm, you know, I wasn't aware of anything, anything coming up uh, April 1st, St. John's, until it was brought to my attention uh, about over a week ago. But that's not the reason for moving this meeting up to Ganado. You know, so, um, you know, I, I appreciate, you know, your statement. Uh, Mr. Sherman, do you have anything to add? I truly agree with you, Mr. Sherman. Uh, we've been doing this for, uh, I'm going on 20 years as a Apache County Supervisor, serving my sixth term now. And we've done this all along, you know, with previous boards, and uh, I'm not exactly sure where weather is coming from. You know, I, I totally agree with you. People up here on Navajo land have rights as well. They're, uh, they vote in the Arizona state elections, county elections. Uh, you know, they're citizens of the state of Arizona as well as the United States and Navajo Nation. I'm not exactly sure <clears throat> what weather is arguing. Uh, we have constitutional rights up here. Like I said, Chairman, that we've done this all along. I don't see anything wrong with it. So thereby, I move that we go ahead and go with uh, moving the board meeting from St. John's to uh, Bernardo come April 1. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Uh, in response to that, um, I agree uh, uh, that there have been meetings previously. Uh, I'm running the meeting here, so uh, if, you know, if there's no second, I'm going to go ahead and second the motion, then I'll hear what you have to say. So with that, uh, Beth, you know, I'm making the second. Okay, Mr. Weller, now you can uh, speak, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I was not trying to step on your time there. Uh, I just in response to some of the things that you and uh, Mr. Shirley uh, spoke about, uh, I too looked forward to cooperatively uh, potentially having meetings up on the Navajo Nation, but uh, once the call to the public was uh, removed from the agenda and the appearance that there was an avoidance of a uh, protest on that issue, 
Uh, many citizens got involved and started raising these constitutional issues. That's where this is coming from, Mr. Shirley. It's coming from the people of this county that are concerned about their rights and concerned about the infringement on them by uh, maneuvering of uh, this meeting at an inappropriate time. I'm supportive of that, and I, and I too, believe this is actually a very inappropriate time to be doing this. So that's my position. I'll be, I'll be opposing. I also ask that that written opinion be provided as soon as possible. Is our county attorney on the line, and will they be committed to that? Mr. Young, I'm on the line. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, you I thought I was going to say that I'm on the line. And... I apologize, Mr. White. Well, he... Okay, he is requesting a legal opinion or from, from, from you or from Mr. Um, White. Yes, and we are the to provide uh, written opinions on request, and we will provide one. Okay, thank you, sir. Do you have a... With that, a, I'm going to go ahead and call for the, with, with that, I'm going to go ahead and call for the question. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Hey, the ayes have it. Two in favor, one, uh, one opposed. Thank you. And with that, Mr. Chairman, go ahead and move that we adjourn the meeting. Okay, is there a second? Uh, no, I wanted, I had some discussion with the county attorney if possible, but uh, so I'm not seconding that motion.